Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create and configure the Syncfusion Angular Time Picker using the Angular CLI tool and Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Calendars package. Angular Time Picker is a lightweight and mobile-friendly component that allows end users to select a time either from a pop-up time list or by entering the value directly in the text box. It supports mass time input, time formatting, and time range. I will show you how to configure a few of its basic features like setting a specific time range, time format, and mask support. Let me show you the application creation process. First, I create my app using the Angular CLI tool. I use VS Code as the editor and show the output in the Chrome browser. In the command prompt, I install the CLI tool globally using the npm install global Angular CLI command. Then I create a new Angular project using the ng new command and provide the app name, my Angular project. I navigate to the desired location and install the time picker package using the ng add at Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Calendars command. Now, I'll open the project in VS Code. To start using the Time Picker component, navigate to the App Module page and import the Time Picker module from the Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Calendars package. Then register it in the Imports array of the NG module. After that, I import the Material Theme Styles to the style.css file to apply styles to the Time Picker component. Next, I need to register the Syncfusion license key. Open the main TypeScript file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, register the Angular trial license. From the 2022 Volume 1 release, the license key is mandatory for Angular projects to avoid license warning. In the app.component.html file, replace the default code snippets with Angular Time Picker using the EJS Time Picker tag. Then assign the styles for this wrapper element. I will run this project using the command ng serve. As you can see, the output displays the time picker, and I can select a time either from a pop up list or by entering the value directly in the text box. I can also show a short hint in the input element of the time picker when no value is selected. I include the placeholder property and assign the value select a time. See now, the specified hint is shown in the input element. Next, I will show you how to set the time that the time picker displays it on initial load. A time can be specified using the value property. Within the app component class, I declare the date value variable of the date type and set a value. I then assign this variable to the value property of the time picker. As you can see, the specified time value is shown in the input. Now, let me show you how to restrict the time selection within a specified range by defining the min and max properties. Within the app component class, I declare the min value variable of the date type and set the value to 1 am. Similarly, I define another variable, max value, and set the max time value to 5 am. Next, I assign these values to the corresponding min and max properties. Check now, I can only select a time between 1 am and 5 am. Next, let's move on to the mask support. You can use the built-in mask support in the time picker to enter a valid time. Open the app module page, import and inject the mask date time service module in the provider's array of ng module. I add the enable mask property and set its value to true. As you can see, I can enter the time based on the mask pattern. The mask is formed based on the default format of the current culture. Finally, I'll show you how to format the time value displayed on the time picker. As you can see, the time is displayed in the hour minute format with the AM slash PM indicator with the time interval of 30 minutes. By default, time format is based on the culture and provides an option to customize the display format of time value using the format property. It accepts standard and custom time format strings as specified in MSDN. Here, I set a custom time format hour and minutes to the format property. 
I then add the step property to change the time interval and set its value to 60. See in the time picker, the time is displayed in the hours and minutes format without the AM slash PM indicator. Also, the step interval is based on 24 hour format with 60 minute interval. In this video, I have shown you how to create and configure the Syncfusion Angular Time Picker component using the Angular CLI and a few of its basic features. You can download a working example from the GitHub link in the description for this video below. You can also see if you're eligible for our community license, which will get you a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.